Hello, Nortel High School parents. This parent academy lesson is gonna quickly show you how to access your parent portal through our student information system, which is called ARIES. And this is good if you are a new parent or if you just wanna know a little bit more about how to use ARIES to help support your child while they come to Nortel High School. So first things first, I wanna highlight where you can find the links to access ARIES. The best way, and this is something that you probably do want to bookmark uh, once you get there, but the best way to do it is actually through the North Tahoe High School website, which a quick Google search will bring you to there. Under the parents menu up here at the top, you're gonna click that link. It's gonna take you to a new website and over here on the left hand menu, and if you're on a mobile device, you can still access the same thing. This might be underneath an expandable menu that you need to actually click on. You'll click on the Aries Parent Portal button here. It's gonna take you to a new TTUSD website where you can find the information that you need here. You're gonna click on the parents area here or Padres, um, and this is going to basically take you to our parent portal login, which looks just like this. There's a couple things that you might need to know. Number one is if you would prefer the information to be presented in Spanish or another language, you can actually toggle that up here and the different menu items will be available in your language of choice. So you can toggle that to and from. You may already have an account, and if so, you just simply need to enter your email and your password. One quick thing for self-help, sometimes passwords you forget, and so you actually can recover a password here. Um, use that forgot my password option and make sure that you try the different emails that could potentially be attached to your account. To create an account, you might need to actually use this button. And what that will do will open up a new website that looks just like this, and you're gonna select either parent or student. And so if you are the parent or guardian, you'll select that option. And it's gonna take you to this page. This is about as far as I can get for our demo purposes, but I'll walk through the next page as well. You're gonna enter a good email address, double check that it's accurate and create a password. Once you do that, you'll hit next, and it's gonna send you an email verification. It's important that you log into your email provider and check for that because it's gonna have you uh, verify that your email is accurate. And then once you do that, um, it's gonna spit you back into Aries and it's gonna ask you for three things. And this is an important piece. It's gonna ask you for a verification code, which is something that you'll need to actually request from Ms. Carrillo, our registrar at Nortel High School. Okay, so you'll have to ask for that, the verification code. You will need the primary phone number that was used, and this is important, primary phone number that was used when registering the student at school. Okay, so if your number changed or if you registered with a home phone and that was their primary number that you listed on the account, um, you'll need to use that phone number and then also the student's permanent ID. Good chance that two, maybe even three of those things you might not know off the top of your head. So it might be good to reach out to Ms. Carrillo with that information, but she will be able to get that to you once uh, you get to this, this section. Um, once you get that, you'll be taken back and we're gonna actually use a demonstration account here. And so a couple notes about the demonstration account for Aries. Number one is it might look like this and it might look slightly different. It kind of depends on where you're at and what time of the year it is. But just an important mention, down here at the bottom right, you kind of see that they are actually gonna be changing the user interface of Aries. A lot of the stuff is the same, just how it looks and how it's presented is different. For the majority of our presentation on this video, I'm gonna be actually transitioning to the new uh, format that it's gonna be taking. But I just wanna highlight two things um, here. Number one is you can either click this try it button at the bottom if you still see this. Up at the upper right hand corner, you can also do the preview new portal until it becomes the default portal. And that's how you can get to the new uh, view. And I actually think the new view is much better than this one. So um, an important difference that you'll notice uh, that is different in the new uh, parent portal user, user interface is if you have students at multiple schools, and that includes students that maybe you have one child, but maybe they're taking a class here at North Tower High School and a class at Coldstream, for example. Those are two different schools and they'll have two different grade books. And so what you'll do is underneath change student, you'll need to actually select the correct student up here. This example doesn't have you know, two students at two different schools, but it has four different children that, that are assigned to this parent. Okay, so that's an important difference. You actually have to change it up here to access that. Um, and you can see also there's information about not completing the data confirmation process, and that is a very important required step. So I'm gonna go ahead and change to this new portal look, and I'll just 
give you the quick summary of how this looks and, and a few key areas that you need to know as a parent. So once that changes, you're gonna see this. Again, you're gonna be notified if you have not completed the, the data confirmation process yet, okay? It's very important that, again, if you're in that circumstance where you have a student here and at Coldstream, we're only paying close attention here at the school for our North High School students. So if you're on the Coldstream grade books, you might see this, but if you toggle back to the North High School one, and you'll see those here, you actually have two different entries. Um, these are your different students, and so if you have a student at North High School and a student at Coldstream, they'll actually show up in two separate little bubbles here. All right, there's a Quick way to actually access the gradebooks, that's probably the biggest area where parents are concerned and want to pay close attention to. You can scroll down and you can see their current class summary. All right, so this is their gradebooks, but if you want to know some more specifics, you can click here. And you can click on the gradebook option, which will bring you to a more full featured um, look at what classes they are in. Okay, so you can click and see specifics, but this is a breakdown, and over on the right hand side, you can see the grade as well as any information. Um, this student is in grade four. Let me switch to a student that's at the high school level for a little bit more continuity. But you can see the grade. And then if you click on the title, so we'll click, we'll check out the student's got a D. Let's see what's going on. So if you click on civics, it'll take us to this page over here, the gradebook details. All right, so the gradebook is an overview. Gradebook details takes you to a specific class, which you can also toggle from up here. All right, so if you look at this, you can see that all these different assignments were turned in. Oh, there's a red box. That's one of the missing assignments that might be impacting their grade. Okay, so you can kind of scroll down and at the bottom, you still will see the breakdown of what might be impacting their classes the most. You can see that homework is likely the larger impact um, and it's 55% of the overall grade. So, so it's, you know, or I'm sorry, that's 55% of what's available. Um, some schools will show you how much each section will be contributing to this overall grade. Um, but you can see like that might be a larger influence and maybe an area that can boost that grade up pretty quick. Okay, so that's one area that you, you need to know how to do. Um, you can look at the overall grade and the missing assignments. Another thing that sometimes people are asking about and an important thing for parents to look at is you might get an auto dialer. So the, the little phone calls that come home when your student is maybe absent. And so if we go back to the home page, there's an area for attendance that you have access to as, also as a parent. And so if you go click on attendance and then hit that button, which is also available from that little bubble from the home screen that's on the quick menu, you can see the different pieces of information about this particular student. All right, so you know this is a little bit tough because it's it's probably demonstrating later on in the school year, but if we were at you know the 19th, we look back and you got a dialer for period zero or first period from the 14th, you can see they're marked unexcused. That typically means that we don't have any information about it, or maybe we do and they're just not an excused absence. Okay, so if you get an auto dialer, you might just wanna hop on Aries real quick and double check, because many times, um, by the time you get an auto dialer, potentially the attendance could be updated already. Um, we may have gotten a call or we may have gotten, you know, your student may have shown up. And so while we can't recall that phone call going out, um, we might have updated already and it might save you a phone call into the office. So that's an important thing. And then if you also have any questions about, you know, my student was marked absent, please communicate that with us because uh, it's important for us to keep accurate attendance and we want to make sure. And sometimes we know that something's happened and maybe your student was out and it's important to update your attendance as quickly as possible. The last thing I'll quickly show you about Aries is sometimes you might need information uh, from the school, say for example, about grades. It's not uncommon when students start driving, you might need an annual update about uh, like a report card. You can actually access this and print this all from here. All right, so there's a couple things also in this gradebook tab. And just so you know, not every single one of these items might be available on your parent portal. This shows you, this is the demonstration account and we'll show you all of the different options. And so some of them are not toggled on um, for parents in our, in our district. So um, you can actually access the report card history here. If you click on that, it's gonna give you a list of all of our past report cards. And so this will be progress reports as well as final report cards. And you can actually download them here in a PDF format and essentially print them out and mail them in yourself. There's no need to, to send us a request um, to send you a copy of their grades. You can actually do that yourself anytime that you need it. The only other area that I wanna just quickly highlight is you can explore some of these other areas down here. I've had students do that um, at the beginning of every year, but transcripts is another one that's kind of important if students are you know, want to know what students are doing, what their grades are like, um, if you need information about GPAs and what their um, different 
you know, graduation requirements are and things like that. So you can actually do that and, and have access to their academic history here. So it's important to just know your way around Aries and just keep in mind that like this UI will be changing this user interface. So get used to this new one. I would suggest maybe toggling over now if you haven't, just because this is the direction that it's going. And I don't, I don't have a timeline for when that's gonna happen, but I would guess within the next year or so, this is gonna be the default view. So you might just wanna get used to it now. Um, and I actually think it's, it's, like I said, better. So if you have questions about how to support your student or how to understand what's available in Aries, please do reach out to us at the high school. We're definitely happy to support you as parents, having access to, to you know, to the information that's gonna help you be um, a more supportive parent for your scholar.